Hi, Hi child. <laughs> Let's see if we can just find hey, some people on the street. Martha. I don't know. You have a shotgun. You have a shotgun? Oi. <laughs> I would laugh so hard if he just ran out. He's like, ah! <laughs> Unfortunately, Marfa died last week. I love when M2 plays low because he don't care. <laughs> The original box was such an ego to it. When a genius came up with it, it was just <laughs> this. Oh, okay, here we go. This lady. Look, honey, you don't running around in town like a chicken and it's so tired. <laughs> what is wrong with the women in this town? <laughs> <laughs> I like your voice, Dennis. What are you saying? Actually, Actually. <laughs> what do you remind me of? A fabulous puzzle. I know about Oh, God, why? No, we need the puzzle. We need it this time. I want to go home. <laughs> Average uh, deadly out on his walk. A girl takes her dog out. At first, she carries her dog for 10 seconds. But then, her bum. dad steps out. At this point, the girl sets her dog down. The dog immediately runs over to the dad, and upon reaching him, he turns around and runs back to the girl. The dogs keep the dog keeps doing this until the dad catches up with the girl. The dog runs at five feet per second. Ah, oh, crap. The dad walks at two feet per second. No, no. The girl walks at one uh, foot per second. How far does the dog run by the time the dad catches up to his daughter? Thirteen feet. Good guess, but let's uh, actually look at this. <laughs> okay, so the, the girl goes out first. It, she's going out on the walk. There's G. Mm -hmm. She goes out a walk. She walks for 10 seconds um, before putting her dog down. Then the dad comes out. So he's automatically 10 seconds behind her. The dog is going to run back and forth between them. So first we've got to figure out how long it takes for the dad to catch up to the girl. Mm. Yeah, how far does the dog run? So... Let's start with that. So the girl moves at one foot per second. Okay. Mm. One f per second. The dad moves at two feet per second. So he will catch her. The question is how long? Let's see. How, how long she walks? The girl carries the dog for ten seconds. So she's ten seconds ahead of him automatically. Right. Automatically. So here's the line. She is 10 seconds along, let's say she's like right here, whenever he's at the starting line right here. So, she's already 10 seconds ahead, how long will it take for him to catch her? If he moves twice as fast, then in 10 seconds, she'll she'll have moved another um, 10 feet. If she only moves a foot per second, yeah, she'll have moved another 10 feet, so this would be 20 in all. Since he moves twice as fast, in 10 seconds, he'll also have moved the full 20 feet. Hmm. It'll take him 10 seconds, from what I can see, to catch up to her. The question, though, is how long does the dog, uh, how far does the dog run? So, we got the dog. He gets a 10-second start from the girl. The dad walks for 10 seconds to catch her. So we got a 20-second run back and forth. The question is how far does he run? So... Let's see. Upon reaching him, well, no, she carries him for the first 10 seconds. The dog is only running for 10. Okay. The dog runs at 5 feet per second. So, she walks to the dad. What does he do? He turns around and runs back to the girl. Assuming there's no runaround time, then we just multiply this by 5. And we get that the dog runs 50 feet. So, this. 
my guess. Yeah, what do y'all think? I think do it. I think that's hey, a good If wrong, we'll get a hint coin. Figure it out. Hey, yo. Hooray for legwork. I'm so happy. Look, there's Deadly and Tyler. I lost, I lost one pound. I lost Oh, what you do. Wait, do you think she's related to the chinless man? She has kind of a similar look going on there. No chin. Yeah. Maybe. It might be a worm. <laughs> or a noodle. You guys are right. Oh, oh, what the crud? Look at this. Seahorse secret ingredient. Oh, God. Why? <laughs> oh, so I take it you do not want to come inside and look around, hmm? Ah, uh, look at those red little cheeks. My, but you're shy. <laughs> Here, try to puzzle. I'll relax you. It'll relax you. Looking up for the coffee, the boy says, "You know, I'm twenty now, but." Back when I was as old as you are now, you were half my current age. Neat, huh? Ah, oh, it's annoying. Um, oh, as you can see, this boy isn't the most concise of speakers. No. What but is happening? using what he said, how old is the girl he's chatting with? Okay, so. The boy is 20 years old now. Oh, they've written it up there, actually, for us. That's very convenient. He's 20 years old now. What did he say? Uh, back when I was as old as you are now... You were half my current age. Ten. Yeah, okay, half is ten. So let's see. Um, she is fifteen. Back when I was as old as you are now. Wait, is that what the girl says? No. No, that's what the guy says. The guy's twenty. Back when I was as old as you are now, you were half my current age. So she's fifteen. I don't No, I she'd be 10. Right here. Yeah. She's 15 right now, so she would be 10 back then. Where are you getting 15 from? Because half the age of 20 is 10. Yes. So, so that's the current age she is right now. I He's asking when you were half my age. Where did come from? Oh, wait. That's what I'm confused on. <laughs> Are you looking at Google? Now, <laughs> back when I was as old as you are now. So, I'm assuming she's younger than him. You were half my current age. I just want to say it's 10. I think it's just yeah. looking for a simple answer. I don't think it, I think it's a, uh, an annoying <laughs> <thing. laughs> Okay, back, back when I was as old as you are now, you were half my current age. Okay, there, that's the wording. It, it's the problem in there. I'm trying to figure this out. I don't know why it's giving me so much trouble. Back when I was as old as you are now, she was half his age. So whatever age she is now, Let's just get some hit points. <laughs> Start by figuring out how old the girl is, okay? This was back when the boy was as old as the girl. I don't even want to do this puzzle. Let's, let's, I quit. Go for another one. <laughs> oh, how okay, many? We'll go Railton. Uh, the darling, wait, come back! I'm in you! Oh, don't get it. Leave me alone. <laughs> Alright, we got four more puzzles to get. Granny Railton's right here. Yeah, you were grandma. <laughs> yeah.
redness that's good in this store. Oh, oh we got useless. We got pages useless upon pages of puzzles. So let's go back to like an early one. Luke's, Luke's big, big dinner. dinner. We can do that. Luke. All right, Luke. How much can you shove into your face hole? About five million. Now, Luke. Plus ten, Luke. You're fat. Oh my god. <laughs> you are sure you can really eat all of that? You put in quite an order there. No sweat, Professor. I'll clean my plate and still have room for more. Just Fat little kid. Concerned as Luke's order cost twice what the professor's did. Below, we can see all the items Luke and Professor Layton ordered, as well as the price for each item. Touch the price for each of the items that are part of Luke's order. Oh, okay. So. so so what they give us a ratio, which is two to one, uh, two being Luke and the uh, one being Layton. Mm. That didn't come out right, but that's L A Y. So Luton got the exact same order as Luke, but Luke got twice of what they both got. Yeah. So if we were add it all together, actually that's what we need to do. We need to add all Hold the on. numbers together. Divide it by three, and then um, multiply it by two. What's eight plus twelve plus dollar? Ah, uh, MT, your big old what? circles in the yeah, way. Man. Eight plus right, twelve plus thirteen plus fourteen plus sixteen plus seventeen plus twenty-five. Divided well, by three. I don't know the answer. You're welcome. The answer is thirty-five. <laughs> Wait, is that? It's not thirty. 30. It is thirty-five. Added everything up and divided it by three. Okay, oh, so the answer is the ratio is thirty-five dollars for Layton and seventy for Luke. That's yes. what we're looking for. Okay. Why seventy? Well, uh, the ratio is this. Luke ordered twice the cost of Layton. And so that gives you the ratio two to one. The whole is three. So you could almost think of it this way: we have Layton portion plus um, two Luke portion. So you make you have three individual portions. That's why we divide it by three. So we multiply it back out. So now we know what number we're looking for. We're looking for Luke to add up conveniently to seventy. So let's see what we got here. I just don't know where you got that seventy from. Mr. Said thirty-five. Yes. The whole, I'm gonna add it up for you real quick. Oh, 35 plus 35? Yes, that's, that's where the 70 comes Oh, okay. From. Now I understand. Okay. Let me add it up, too, though. I'm a little curious about this number being up. 35. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, well, it can't be the big dish, because that would get too big. Unless we're looking for 70. Oh. I'm confused. Huh? We're looking for $70 in Luke's order. Oh. In total. That's 34, but 14 and 25. Maybe this fine milkshake that uh, has to be Luke's. Alright, so it's an <laughs> even number. That's one clue. So, if we add up odd stuff, we gotta be careful. Uh, these two added together are 30. We okay. just need a 40 from somewhere. Can we times or no? No, we're just adding the individual pieces up. So I, maybe these can't work. Maybe let's. Oh uh, wait, it, the fourteen and twenty-five plus thirteen, seventeen. The bottom four get to sixty-nine. Oh, that's close. Oh, look at this right here. Add these two, and you get twenty-five. Here's Ooh. twenty-five. Is there another way to get Ooh. to twenty-five. There is. It's a 17 plus, it's this. 8 and 17. That's 25, 25, and 25. So I think, um, well, let's see what this is. Uh, 14 and 16. That's 20. It's 30. No, it's 30. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, I made my math yeah. wrong somewhere. Yeah. I know straight off the fact that Luke has that milk. Straight off the bat? <laughs> you know that he has his milkshake? <laughs> yeah. For a skinny lad, he needs to eat a lot. He 
right track, you know. He has a sweet tooth for desserts. So this is 30. This is Let's 20. Let's start with that one. Hmm? Let's start with 30, yeah. 30 and 20 is 50. We need another 20, but we can't get it. <laughs> so start with a 30. <laughs> Excuse me, I'd like a it's refund. 40. From somewhere. 43 if you get 13. <laughs> yeah, but we need 70. Wait, I know the answer. What is it? So what you got, Teddy? I got 60. Okay. Well, add to 12 for that milkshake. With who? Add to the 16 with that stew on the, on the right. Okay. And then add to the 25 that uh, turkey or, or chicken on the bottom. Wait, so, okay. 12 and 16, 16. that's 28. 53. And then. Uh, Wait, what yeah. are we adding? Add 25 to the 17. Wait, we're, we're adding 25 to this original thing here? Yeah. Uh, okay, 53. Yeah. And then, uh, 17, right? Is that, that what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, that would give us 60, 70. Very good, Dad. Like, awesome. I think it's these four, and then these three were ordered by the professor. Let's see if that works out. It's always because yeah. of that milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's always because of that blasted milkshake. It goes right to my hips. Milkshake. Okay, still yeah, with I still went to order that milkshake for himself. He ordered it that. You know I want to share it with Luke. <laughs> he did get every big meal. Yes! There you go, Dad. Like, yeah, good job, there you go. Thanks. I'm, I'm the mad done potato has done it again. <laughs> I'm taking math right now in my college. Oh, it's paying off. <laughs> there <now> she is. <laughs> okay, let's see. I think we need at least three more. Zach, which one sounds flat. easy? A strip of paper. Okay. <laughs> nice. Oh, that terrible. <laughs> Look at this one. Ten. This no, is this will be easy. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, maybe not. Oh. Hey, you want to go back? The owner of a four-star <laughs> restaurant assigns a young waiter the task of stacking glasses in a decorative way. Eager to please, the young waiter immediately draws five separate designs and shows them to the owner. The owner takes one glance at the designs and with a look of irritation turns to the boy and cries, This design is preposterous. This is all <laughs> Which of the five designs is the owner talking about? I think it's D. No, it's, it's D, guys. D. It's D. Look at this. Yeah. D. Look at how the oh, cup yeah. cuts oh, yeah, into the other cup. <laughs> hey! I mean, you'd get a lot of customers for that goofy design. Good job. Hey! You'd you have a cup with a hole in it. Sometimes you gotta think outside the box. Alright, good. Probably like two more. Okay, what do y'all want? Which one? Paper. Paper. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. Oh, I knew it. Easy. Yeah. After trying to fold a strip of paper in half, you notice that one side of the folded strip is one inch longer than the other. Determined to get it right, you fold the strip again, only to discover that now the other end of the folded strip is an inch longer than the other. Now that you've made two folds along the strip, figure out what the distance between the two folds is when expressed in tenths of an inch. Dude, this is easy. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh -huh. Let's see, um, what we learned is that whenever we fold it's it... It's an inch. What? An inch, so it's an inch in the middle, right? It should be, yeah. It should be. Because if you fold it on each side, this should be an inch. Because if, if you got an inch hanging off of here, and then you fold it the other way, and you get an inch hanging off of here, then you've made two folds. You haven't changed the length of the paper, but it should just be an inch. So in tenths of an inch, when expressed in tenths of an inch. What is that? What is a tenth of an inch? A centimeter? A tenth of an inch uh, would be one tenth of an inch. So, ten tenths is one inch. So, ten 
ten tenths of an inch. Oh, that's so confusing. Hey! I, I knew the inch part, but I would never know what a tenth of an inch is. <laughs> There's a little fraction in one. I hate fractions! Fractions <laughs> are the good stuff. <laughs> Alright, who's picking the next one? You know what? Let's go to a new page. Oh, I'd shape out. That sounds easy. Okay. We could pick the odd shape. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> deadly. Oh. Okay, you have a box as shown below. Using the white cubes as standard units, the box is two cubes wide by three cubes long by two cubes tall. Two white cubes are permanently attached to the floor of the box, right here and here. Now, of these four shapes, A through D shown below, Three of them can be placed together in the box to fill it to the top with no gap. Find the shape that doesn't fit into the box using the conditions described above. C, A, and B can fit, right? C and B can fit on the lower half. Yeah, C can and then go, C can fit. C can go right down in here easily. And, and then A and, a and, and B, B can also do that right here and right there. Then D cannot do Jack. So it's D. I think so D, D, yeah. Yeah. Oh, gotta, wait, wait Please draw your circle, sir. Oh, they want me to draw that. All right. You know what? <laughs> it's just like right here. You test my judgment. Yeah, yeah we're so more. There you go. There we have it. That's what A looks like to me. It's yeah, boys, it's exactly how I saw. Let me, I don't remember how much perfect we need to do. Oh, it perfect. Hey, hey, hey. Perfect. Woo! Perfect bar, Granny. <laughs> See you later, old fort. <laughs> See you later, you old hag. I challenge you to me. a sword duel, but first you must uh, solve my puzzle. <laughs> but before you solve yeah, my puzzle, I mean, you have to who are joking? In the other games, one, Layton does it. fence a lot. He does fight with swords. I don't remember if he does in this game or not. My choice of my choice of weapon is a balloon sword. <laughs> what are you owing for, Cody? I stabbed my cow. <laughs> no, who are you fighting? <laughs> no, I know. It, it, it would appear you solved at least eighty puzzles. That's right. <laughs> no, <baby laughs> Suck it. I commend your perseverance and proclaim your worthy of entrance to this castle. Better be that's all we do. Yeah, I was about to say. Well, what the crap? Tyler! Now that's a vampire. Oh, they have voice actors. I think there's my time. It sounds like Trey. <laughs> Trey, do a good Squidward impression. Oh, cut scene. No, it's like if Trey was being a creepy guy. Oh, it's like if Trey was being creepy. The head of Empire will see you now. Vampire, look at his ears. <laughs> oh, hello. Who are you? This is my master, so don't worry. Welcome to my house. I thought you were a girl. <laughs> oh, the woman. It's a very deep voice for a woman. Because they believe it kills anyone who. But every woman in the town has a deep voice. You know what, Tura? Piston. Although I parted with it many years ago, the Danish emblem you mentioned wasn't exactly our suited to my spirit. Shut up. Is that so? Well, chalk it up to Shut up.
to the divine and celestial. I'm sure you've had a long day, so please be true to me. Where did you come from? I'm gonna sleep with my top hat on tonight, I suppose. Hell, this is the poshest room I've ever seen. Look, you you little turd, we're going to die tonight. Don't look at the room. It's a room befitting the wealthiest and most influential family of Fulton. Influential? Shut up. Stop picking out the words I can't say. I'm illiterate. I have a hard time believing a place as pretty as this has a vampire lurking about it. Oh, you never know, Luke. Maybe Atten himself is a vampire, and you just haven't realized it yet. I uh, said that you gotta figure out Anton's voice. That's you gotta be. Oh, yeah, no. Anton, right. away! This just do a deep voice, you'll be fine. Me. But think about it, guys. This dude, he looks the same as he did 50 years ago. It's kind of weird. Oh, that's not normal. Mm. Wait, what if the life the life is sucked through the box and he gets the power? Oh, that's a good theory. I thought you didn't believe in vampires. Are you pulling my leg? No, actually your arm. <laughs> Something strange going on. <laughs> Remember that picture we saw? Oh, we just talked about this in, in Hershey Museum. Oh yeah, Anton, they are well, saying what we just talked about, yeah. The thing is, even though the phone yeah, <laughs> doesn't look a day older. Whoops. So it's been bothering you too, has it? Hmm. I can't quite understand how it could be possible. Especially it's odd given that Mr. Beluga has clearly aged since the picture was taken. It would seem that both Anton and his castle warrant further examination. Please tell me in here. <laughs> There's that famous lightning to us tonight coming up again. Yes. There's smoke in my head right now. I'm thinking too hard. I suppose you could say that. <laughs> Though I'd hardly call it oh famous. Goodness. Mr. Evan and I should cosplay as Leighton and Luke because he's so tall I could be Luke. Make <laughs> sure him to wear the hat. The hat. <laughs> that you know, M2, next Halloween, I will get uh, a costume and be Leighton. How about that? <laughs> Suppose you could say oh, that. I one for you, M2. Yes! Yeah, I don't know how we <laughs> Why don't we start thing. exploration of the castle with this Amazon. room? I have to shave my goatee. <laughs> oh, that's a scary <laughs> sight, Luke. Grown up, Luke. Good idea, let's get to it. Grown up, Luke. And I'm an old fart of a man. Right, exactly. I'm in the room. Well, we got a mirror. That is a fascinating painting. Have you ever seen such a convincing illustration of a gala? Oh! From what we've seen of this castle, I'm certain the ball was extremely oh, opulent. Opul opulent. 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 Big words hurt small brain. My, it's gotten late. There's time for a quick puzzle. Then it's off to sleep. All right. As long as we get to go to sleep after this. you actually enjoy these puzzles or something? <laughs> <laughs> it, like, calms him down or something. And Luke's like, yeah. pulling his hair out. <laughs> <laughs> when will it end? All right, the couple that piece seem to be dancing high in the air. Floating near the chandelier. But, as it turns out, when viewed properly, there's nothing strange at all about the picture. If you look closely enough, one peculiar area of the painting hints at the reason the whole picture seems so odd. Find that peculiar area and circle it. Learn I think we're looking at the floor. It's that skirt on the side, isn't it? We're looking yeah. at the floor. Any Actually, floor. yeah, you do have a good point, M1. It does look a bit off. This, yeah, that's a, that skirt on the side. After the one on the other side, it looks really weird. See that one that just kind of sticks out. Well, actually, I don't know what area of the painting. Yeah, okay. I think or, that'll work. Or that one, or is it the one on the other side? I don't know. Oh. Okay, never mind. It looks the weird, couple, though. 
Maybe the couple's reflection looks a bit off, too. On the glass floor. Yeah. Oh. You know what? Yeah, yeah. It, the old story that vampires can see their reflections. True. They might not can see him, but I can. Look at that fat guy <laughs> in the back on the left. He's his face isn't. I mean, his his chest isn't cut. His back. Oh my gosh, it's not cut like their their reflection is. See? This one. If the yeah, if there was a line there, like wouldn't his he be like reflected. He's not reflected. Because wait, no, wait. Where's the guy's cape? It's right Actually, yeah. Him. The cape is gone. Well, I mean, look, when it when it comes down to it, like you only see his ankle, so the cape. You know it's true. No. This dude is standing upright. That's kind of weird. I mean, Circle him. Ball. He is weird. He's okay. standing weird. And he's not cutting half You're either. weird, That's sir. Weird. What? what? Apparently he's not that weird. <laughs> oh, I want to see this. I want to see this sick and thing from him. Give me a hint. I think there's another cutscene that I've been waiting for since we started this months ago. <laughs> Many things about the painting are all a little off, but what one little detail seems the most unusual? So there's a lot of problems. Okay. This one mm. thing is probably. Wait, let me examine this. Let's see here. On the left, you see that weird, like, pattern? Is it their arms? Oh. And where's her arms? Does she have both arms? I mean, I, I had hope. Uh, it looks like, like one arm is reached around back to hug him. Or whatever couple. they do when you dance. The answer is in the couple. Yeah, you're right. One. See, and then look, the other arm in the front is like not there. Where's it should be on his shoulder, right? Or is it? I can't tell. It's hard to see. How do you dance? They're like, that's too vague. Let's try to be vague. <laughs> we'll go yeah. with the arm theory. <laughs> Watch me be wrong again. <laughs> I, I know this, this might sound different, uh, stupid, but uh, let's go to reflection of the couple. What, down here? Yeah. Like, circle that their whole reflection. <clears throat> maybe that, maybe that'll, uh, be the problem. We had not tried that yet. Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> Curse you, you fat man! Literally. What? <laughs> what was it? seems to be the only two people with a visible reflection on the floor. It seems that the scene is, in this painting, isn't of the ball itself but rather of a reflection of the ballroom floor. I knew it okay. was on the floor the whole time, but I still didn't get it. We all knew it was a reflection. I mean, I don't know. That's kind of weird. But what was the answer? Would you say? Apparently that was just the most oh, obvious God. reflection part. I don't know. Yeah, it really is a magnificent picture. Oh, what is this? Luke, tell me, do you, these two look familiar to you? Are you slow? Yes, <laughs> I am. Looks like Anton. Is that Katia? Oh, I didn't know that one. She is as old as death. Are you slow? I knew that. <laughs> you promised we could I'm go sorry, to bed. Pizza. After this Pizza, puzzle, so why are we going slow, to bed? Sorry. Don't you dare talk to me. A shay. <laughs> I think so. so. The artist inscription. <laughs> this is what is it in the way. Does Luke have to flip first? Inscription down here. Why can it say that his, this painting is 50 years old? It's all inscribed. It looks pretty much the same as Coulson outside our window. Hmm. Brown. What are you thinking, Professor? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just pondering something. 
Are you giving me the silent treatment because I called you slowly? Maybe. My, it's gotten late. It's been quite a day for us, so perhaps it's time to turn in. Yeah, I could use some sleep. Good night, Professor. I'll put you to sleep. Part. We go to sleep in the creepy mansion. That's when all the fun happens. Yeah. Get ready to be quiet, guys. Ooh, what's he? Care for dads, Luke. <laughs> We're in the painting. Katya. Oh, okay. Ah, Luke, we're going to it's die. Dio. <laughs> it's Dio Brando. <laughs> it's actually vampires. Oh my goodness. It's been far too long since I've encountered a friend so feisty. You you shove that up your bum. <laughs> Luke, listen to me. Take a deep breath and collect yourself. Boy. No bus! There's not course for worry. My boy, whoever told... Uh, yeah, I really... There's no cause for worry, my boy. Whoever tied these ropes did a poor job. With a little work, I maybe be able to get free. Free. Not three. Free. Yeah! <laughs> Uh. I can't see what's oh, happening. Tyler tied deadly up in the woods. I knew it! <laughs> He's holding yeah. me hostage. <laughs> Get bound by a long length of rope among several posts. While he has no hope of untying his bonds, he can still move his legs. For he to stand up and run away, his long trail of rope looks like it might catch on at least one of the posts. He'll need to use his legs to pull up any posts that prevent him from running away before he can dash off. Mark any posts that prevent the man from running away. Oh. Ew, too. Oh, oh. You have like a blue circle thinky thing on your mouth. Is that normal? Or is the computer having trouble? It looks like the... The no loading. The computer's thinking. Uh, yeah, the loading. It's not on my end, I don't know. No, okay. That's fine. I just make sure the game wasn't about to die. Yeah, I see it. I can check my task manager real quick and see what's going on. Nope, it stopped. Well, now it's gone. Well, now I'm back on the- I was on a different screen. So gone. Yeah. I see one. Oh, no. Uh, okay. Bottom left straight. Bottom left straight. At the very left. That one. Let's just go with Trey. Because I want to use my brain. Oh, maybe. I hate these types of puzzles. Me too. <laughs> yeah, my, my, you guys. my well, the top left. Here. The top Where left is fine. I mean, look at him. He doesn't. He, all right, there. Let me see. He doesn't deal with any of that stuff. As far as I, I think can top see. left is okay. I think Trey's right, him too. It's the bottom left one. Is that the only one, though? I think so. If you squint at what you just drew, it looks like a woman dancing. 
<laughs> what what is it? I don't know, but I can see it. Squint your eyes and look at Wait, it. How is she Sorry. dancing? I don't know. Her arms in the air, and it looks like she's wearing a tutu. What? Sorry, I think old man. Yeah, I'm. Mark I'm Kenny post tired. <laughs> so is that the only one? That's the one I see. Nothing else actually loops around a post. Wait, wait, we'll wait hold on. Is this old man around. tied up with us? <laughs> what? Was wrong. What? what? Still. Okay, well maybe it's still gets stuck. There's just one. There's more than one post. What if we just take the pocket knife out of our back pocket and just cut the rope? That's one of them. So there has to be another. I got a spoon to cut the rope. I'd love to see you cut a rope with spoon, Dudley. Because <laughs> I'd sit there and laugh at your failure. Hey, miss me. <laughs> and funny. <laughs> Maybe it's the top right one. <laughs> Ow, me fingies. Make this one. It's this post. This loops Ooh. around it, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah this. That looks a bit it's off. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think this one should pull out if you just walk up or down at that spot. I think it's these two. Okay. <laughs> if that tried the right side. Ah, uh, <laughs> never wanted to look up the answer to a puzzle so bad. I just hate this sort of puzzle. Wait, hear you know, me if out. I, if what? I were this fat man, I would pull on the rope and see what was stuck, and then I would just pull that stick out of the way. Yes, I used I my can't weight. I pull it in my mind. Yeah. Okay. What if it's just the middle right uh, log and that's it? The middle right log. Yeah. Uh, just the... Uh, you mean get rid of this one? You... Yeah, get rid of this one and try to submit the answer. Maybe it's only just one and that's it. It's right. This should be the truth. Oh my yes! goodness! Oh, Deadly, you that suck bucket! How is it not that one? How is it not the last one? I mean, all, all the loops, it only has like oh, one. It just pulls out. That's not really in there. Yeah. Like this oh, one wow. was a straight up loop around. That's oh, a that's fake so loop because all you have to do is pull this piece upward. Yeah. Wow. At least like the puzzle master. Yeah, hey, you just get this, Jelly. <laughs> Thanks. You fine. You be the professor then. <laughs> We're finally free, but there's no time to stand around. We must find a way out and quickly. <laughs> Sorry. Right. That's burger. Uh, that's axe that was... in the wall. How did we end up in the painting? We went to sleep, but it ended up in the painting? I want to say we, quote-unquote, fell asleep, and then we imagined in the dream, but I, I don't oh, know. We're in. He's a thousand years old. There's no place to run. <laughs> Call yourself, calm yourself, Luke. There's bound to be another way out of this room. Look around. Spider web in the we ceiling. Called. If I could drink from the flask. <laughs> no, Luke, you're not old enough to drink my bleach. I can see the key. If only I can Stay reach it. Where's the key? <laughs> what key? Hold on, where key? Here, let's see if I can reach it. It's a puzzle. That's what it is. Shoot me. Oh, <laughs> it's just one of these. What is this crap? Oh, okay. How did you see this, Luke? This is this is stupid. <laughs> I would hate to see this. Man, this is actually a little more involved. See, I told you it was stupid. <laughs> more you know. Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no, dearie, out. dearie me. Oh, oh bother. Oh, oh, I'm to slide the brick up. I think the mm. key has to stay mm. up in there until you can get the yellow one by it. Too. Going on, but... no. Cody, That's one day, you Discord will be your friend. Maybe you need to try to get the yellow one up there before you slide the key out. Mm. Yeah. Then. Mm. Yeah, we'll keep going around. Like, keep going to the right, I think. I don't know. Or that. Oh, yes, I forgot. Well, jammed it all up. 
see. I keep going to the right and keep shoving it. And keep the key. I'll oh, keep the key in there for now. Yeah. Yeah, and then keep going to the right. You bring. Mm -hmm. oh, you can't bring the screen down. Never mind. Okay. Hey, maybe you should go left so the greens can loop in and hook in on the side like it did. I'm gonna, like put this guy down in here right now. Oh, that's a good. One. He's breathing. Okay. Yeah, he's breathing. <laughs> oh, I won't be able to get that guy out yet, but if we can. Yes! Alright, oh, so I forgot that block. <laughs> yeah, it's not perfect, but we could inch him along. Let's see. Ooh. I guess he is stuck in there for now. Oh, there we go. Now you can scoop that way up, like. I mean, it still doesn't solve the problem. I've got to get the yellow up there in the top. Move that. Move that red up. Which mm -hmm. one, Trey? Yeah, that's annoying right there. Yeah, that's annoying. So I'm give them two it. directions on the ones like this. Let me see here. So, we can maneuver whenever something's stuck in a hole. So we need to kind of be able to get the yellow one stuck up in there, I think, where the key is, and take the key out. Yeah. So we're kind of start by hiding them. Yeah, we just gotta rotate the stuff. Okay. All right. Pull him out. That still won't do anything. Alright. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> oh, that's a... Nope. Oh. Hmm. This is somehow made it near the top of this map. Almost. Ah, oh, dig it. We're a mess. Okay, let's see here. This is calculated evil. That's what this is. <laughs> <laughs> evil and diabolical. This is made by a bad man. Evil, evil. I even get this thing in here because I can't get it out now. Oh, I had to do this. Oh, what did I do? Well, puke. I mean, Luke. It's nice knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what? This... Would you call me? <laughs> I called you puke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I still go cry now. <laughs> what a mess. That's kind of a key, but. Hmm. There's another possibility. Ah, yeah. oh, bless your soul. What's new in the world? <laughs> Maybe I get him on the other side of this stuff. Too much, man. Oh, wait. Oh, dang it. Yeah, I still don't know how to... 
sort of rotation do I want this thing on? I know. You move Layton's hand into the box to grab the key. That's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice. Good idea. But... <laughs> Man, I, I can't have them both out at the same time. But, well, because if I can't have them both out at the same time, then how in the world am I supposed to swap them? Hmm. I gotta I mean, put this guy in. Yeah, and move the red top uh, red square to the l right. And... Do it, guys. I believe in you. And then, yeah. You can get him out, but he needs to be able to get. You guys, I'll be right back. I'm gonna switch. Laptop, but my phone's about to die. Alright. All right. See here. Hmm. Maybe I, it's about where I put the key in this rotation. Maybe I need it. There's two options. It could be next to the green where it is now, or it could be next to a red. I think I'm going to put it next to the green. I can. Lovely. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't worry, we don't think you're great. Not that great. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Okay. I think if I can get this key up in there, then I'll be okay. You're getting the key migration! <laughs> There's no way to get it up in there, though. The, the great key migration of Bounds and North Star. But we're trying to get it out right now, and we're trying to move it around. <laughs> I, I can't have the yellow and the key out at the same time, though. Because they, there's not enough room to maneuver. They can pull one out, but not the other at the same time. Be speed running dark souls with doing this crud. Do it type the deed you gonna it help very much. I know. Oh you're in uh Boreal Valley then, huh? I'm in Ithriel. Irithil. We're part of that. At the Boreal Valley. Yeah, you haven't killed him yet. Who are you going to kill? Conifer, um... Yeah. 
I kill Yorm first. I killed Yorm first, and then I killed Pontiff at 1.1. Okay, I think I see it. If I could get... Prop oh, it's not possible because there's... Yeah. If I had this L right here and this spot right here, then I could... I still couldn't do it. Never mind. Ooh, annoying. Cody goes from complete depression to like victory. <laughs> There we are, the door's unlocked now. Freedom is ours, Luke! I repeat, we will read it next time. Mm. Come back for them. But I'm too, what's outside the door? Is it freedom?